Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your dumbbell superset burn workout. So in this workout, we will use a set of dumbbells to work the entire body for strength and cardio, getting an extra burn by working in supersets. So stacking our exercises back to back, today working in muscle groups, lower, upper, and then core. Of course, we'll get some mobility and cardio in between and I will give you lots of different options. So listen to your body and work to your level. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can keep making free workouts for you here on YouTube and we can grow the body fit community. All you need for this workout is a set of dumbbells and a mat. I will be working between my 10 and 12 pound dumbbells today. Are you ready? Let's do it. You know, I Okay, so we're gonna start with a quick warm up. We will keep it pretty short. You can march or you can jog and let's get some rolls through the shoulders and the arms. Of course, if you need more of a warm up or a longer cool down, get it on your own. And you can check out my extended warm up and extended cool down videos if you need some options. Let's alternate one at a time. And remember, if you showed up today, you are already successful, so don't worry. Showing up and moving our body is the name of the game. That is all that I care about is that you are here and you are moving. I want you to do things safely and effectively and work in a way that works for you. So as I always say, be where you are today. Challenge yourself, push yourself, but you do you. Don't worry about what I'm doing or anybody else as long as you are being challenged and you are moving your body. That is what matters. I will give you lots of different options to choose from depending on your fitness level and where you are today, right? Go ahead and inchworm it out. You can take it down, you can reach it up, or if you're able, add that little inchworm out, inchworm back. We get the core fired up and ready to go. And breathe. Let's get one more. Holding it here. Walk it back all the way up. Lap back down. One more right here. Hold it. Roll those shoulders forward as you press out gently. And breathe. Walk them in. Round it up. Tap and reach across. All right, so we got superset burn with our dumbbells today. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use a kettlebell, you can use soup cans, water bottles, whatever you got, as long as you're moving. We have three quick circuits, guys. It will not take very long. I think you will like this format because it's gonna go fast. We're gonna have our lower body circuit with three exercises, our upper body with three exercises, and then our core, right? So it is gonna move quick. We're gonna be in and out today. And in these supersets, we're gonna make those muscles work hard. So if you've done my superset burn with weights, you know this format, we've got 20 second rounds of each. So one minute per exercise. And let's bring those elbows down here. So we have a regular, just regular rep set for 20. We're gonna slow it down for 20. And then we're gonna take it to some pulses and finish with a hold. So it's gonna burn by the end, but you're gonna like it. And then you get a quick breather before we move on to the next. In between our circuits of lower, upper, and core, we'll get some cardio mobility. And of course, that'll be a time to grab some water and a time that I'll explain your next circuit. So in and out, we will get it done fast. I think you're gonna like it. A few things with, especially the lower body, we'll have some right side, left side, but again, it's gonna move quick. All right, so you take it back to those hamstring curls. You can step it, you can jump it, you can take these hands high. Watch me, we're gonna start just with a transverse lunge. So that transverse is stepping on the diagonal. I'm gonna keep my weights here, but they can be here or racked up. On the diagonal, toes out, plie, step it in. When we get to our slow set, we're gonna keep it regular plie. We're gonna go slow, we're gonna slide it in. So we'll keep it forward. If you wanna keep it forward the whole time, you can. Then we'll pulse at the end. Then we will get some holds. All right, grab those weights. You got 20 seconds, transverse, here we go. Step it out, bring it in. Drop it low, 
bring it in. Again, your weights can be low if you want to keep them here. Sometimes that helps you get a little lower. Or you can rack them. That works too. On the diagonal, stepping three, two, one. Take it center. Watch me. I'm going to go slow. I'm going to slide it in. Slow, slide it in. Dropping it down for two. Pull those heels in. Drop it down. Pull them in, right? Low. Yes. One more. And then hold it center, hold it stationary. We're just gonna pulse. Pulse down. I want you to think about pulsing towards the ground. Instead of pulsing halfway up, think pulsing halfway down. Then we're gonna hold it here for five, four, three, two, breathe. If you wanna drop those weights down, you can. You got 30 seconds. You can jog it out, shake it out. This is where you catch your breath, you give your hands a break, and I talk you through your next one. We're gonna go side lunge into a curtsy. We're gonna keep it all on one side, then we'll go slow, we'll go slow, then we'll pulse 20 into the side, pulse 20 into the left, then we'll jump into the other side. I'm gonna talk you through it, don't worry. Grab those weights, ready. Here we go, side lunge. Down, step through, down, step through. So you're sitting deep. If you need to keep that curtsy lunge a little higher, that's always an option as long as you're shifting your weight one hip to the other, right? Shift it here. Last one, slow it down, a little slower. So down, two, up for a two. Take it back, down. We won't get very many on this one and that's okay. Down and up, down and up. One more, good, let's get it in. And then 20 seconds, pulse it here. Pulse into that hip. Really think to the side and get low. Breathe. We're gonna hold it here. Hold low. Three, two, one. Cross it, curtsy. Pulse it here for 20. Yes. Get low. Pulse that knee down to the ground and pulse into that hip. Cool, right? Keep breathing. Push into the heel. Hold it here. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. You got 10 seconds to breathe. Let's do all of that on the other side. I know, team. We can do it. Roll those shoulders back. Here we go. So regular, take it to curtsy. Remember, if at any point you need to take this body weight, if your hands just need to break, I'm hoping that you're able to go heavy on these because we're keeping it with just lower body. But if you need to, that's always an option. Slow it down. Down for two, up for two. Get low, down, drop the knee. Good, down, push up and through. Can we get one more all the way through? You may have to pick up your pace just a bit. Take it here. 20 seconds, pulse it here. Pulse into that hip, right? Yes. And breathe. Keep shifting that weight, keep getting low. Hold five, four, three, two. Take it, curtsy, pulse it down. I know. So the nice thing about this one is we're shifting one leg to the other, right? So hopefully you're feeling it all the way through, but you get little mini breathers, right? Keep pulsing that knee down, push into the heel, into that hip, hold five, four, three, two, and breathe. Drop it down, shake it out. You got 30 seconds to breathe. Watch me, this is your last one with your lower body. We're actually gonna start with some swings. So if you've never done a swing before, or you're not comfortable, you can keep it with the deadlift, but if you can, Dumbbell swing. We're gonna power it back. When we get through 20, we're gonna give ourselves a second. We're gonna adjust. We're gonna go slow deadlift, down for two, up for two. And then we get 20 seconds of a pulse and hold, either staggered or off the ground. It's very small. And then 20 seconds, other leg. Here we go, prep that swing, power it up for 20. 
If you'd rather do one swing in the middle with those dumbbells, that's an option too. Breathe, five, four, three, two. I want you to swing and relax, don't worry about the time. And then down for two, up for two. Take it down for two. More important that we're able to stop that swing carefully and that we really get set up for this deadlift. Shoulders back, back flat, slight bend in the knees. One more. One foot forward, watch me. We're gonna do a little pulse, halfway down and up. Weight is in that front heel. If you wanna take that leg off the ground, it's a really small here to here. Hold it here, five, four, three, two, switch your legs. Here we go. So it's a little pulse, really small, careful on your back. Weight in the hamstring and glute, push into the heel. Small motion, front leg doing the work. Hold it, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out, weights out of the way. A little stretch in those hamstrings. All right, team, catch your breath. Quick sip of water. We got some cardio mobility to get it going. I want you to lunge and reach or lunge, reach. So we stretch out those hips and hip flexors here to here. Join me here. If you wanna jump it to get a little extra cardio, you can. Otherwise, just keep it going and breathe and breathe. While you're doing that lunge and reach, I'm gonna talk you through your upper body, right? We're gonna get through this fast. All right, so we're gonna go with the plank. We're gonna sneak in a little core. If you want, you can take it to that plank row. So we're alternating for 20. We're gonna go up slow for 20. We're gonna pulse and hold 20 on one side, 20 on the other side. If you'd rather be on your knees, you can, or you can do all of that from a standing position. It's up to you. Then we're taking it to a bicep curl and press. Then we'll slow it down. Then we'll do some pulses and holds in the biceps, pulse and holds in the press. Then we're gonna take it down for a chest press. We're going in and out. I'm gonna talk you through that once we are there. Go ahead, grab those weights. You can be standing row or you can be on your knees or on your toes. Starting with our alternating, zip up that core. Ready, 20 seconds, here we go. So here, you're gonna get a little weight shift with the dumbbell right in the center, and that's okay. Again, you can be knees or knees. We're just trying not to twist too much, but you are gonna shift a little bit side to side, and that's your core working harder, so that's intentional. Good, slow it down right here. Up for two, down and center. Up for two, down, center. Keep it going. Yes, keep that core lifted and engaged. One more each way. And then we're gonna pulse it 20 on one side, pulse. Stay center with that core. If you need to drop to the knees, that's an option too. But if you can, keep it up. I know, it's making that core work harder. Hold five, four, three, two, switch it. Here we go, pulse it. Again, keeping those hips square, keeping that core pulled up and in. If you need to drop to the knees, you can, but otherwise, keep it going. Let's hold that elbow up. Five, four, three, two, breathe. Yes, take it up. So we're gonna grab those dumbbells. You got a second to breathe, about 30 seconds. We're going into that curl and that press. You can keep it just regular, you can keep it hammer. Whatever is good for you, roll those shoulders back. Let's tap it out. And since we got a little extra time, if you wanna stretch it out here through that back, yes. Whoo! All right, breathe. Grab those weights, get ready. Curl and press, zip up in the core. Here we go. Curl, press, down, and down, or hammer curl, 
and press. Or you can do what I did, alternate in between. So a hammer, a regular, and then hammer. Right? There we go. And let's take it up for two, up for two, down for two, down, hammer. Up nice and slow, increasing our time under tension. Up, up, down, and down. We're gonna pulse it. So in the halfway point, not pulsing here, pulse it halfway, right? You wanna turn it and then hold it center five four three two core engage we're up pulse you can be here or bring them in pulse i know it's burning especially after those rows but you can do it finish it strong hold it halfway five in a way that's still challenging for you not here two one Relax, right? Yes, whoo. All right, team, so go ahead and bring it down. You can probably go to those heavier weights again. We're gonna do chest press, watch me first. Chest press, turn them in, close grip press, so we get those extra triceps, all right? Core is engaged. If you wanna add a bridge to it, or if you wanna have the feet up in tabletop, that's an option. Bridge, we'll get that pressure off of the center, keep the, up, the lower body engaged. This or this is gonna keep the core engaged. So it is up to you. One press up regular, bring those elbows in. We got 20 seconds, here we go. So up and in, turn those elbows in straight up. Elbows out. So we get that little shoulder movement at the bottom, up. Again, if you'd rather be here, and out. Yes. All right, team, so take it up slow for two, down slow, turn them in, slow, and here, turn them out, slow, yes, and in, good, and out, good, let's finish it in, and then you're gonna pulse it here, so pulse up, squeeze, with the glutes or with that core, whatever feels good for you. Hold it halfway, five, four, three, two, bring them in, pulse it. At the halfway point, make sure it's still challenging for you that you're not cheating at the bottom or at the top, right? Keep those elbows in to keep the tries. Working hard, breathe, yes. Hold it, five, four, three, two, Relax, stretch that out. All right, team, before we come into our last one with our core, watch me here. You're either on your knees, big stretch, or you're in that plank. Here we go, take it here, breathe. Take it here, cardio mobility. If you'd rather jump it, take it up and breathe. We got one last core circuit. It's gonna go fast. Hopefully you're feeling it all, all the way through. One more each way. Last one. And relax. All right, team, we're taking it down. If you need to modify pre, early, post, DR, we're gonna hold everything up top, and then we're gonna take our plank into my knees. So we're gonna do a dead bug here. We're gonna hold one side for our pulses, one side for our pulses, so you're keeping it standing. Everybody else, join me here. Dead bug, 20 seconds, out. And this is a great exercise, so even if you are early postpartum or healing a diastasis recti, great progressive exercise, but if it feels like too much, keep it standing. But if you are pregnant, second or third trimester, stay standing. Right? Uh, oops, guys, went a little over. That's okay. We're gonna hold it here. Push or elbow back and forward. 
So think of this, it's gonna be a little different here, but think of this as your down for two, up for two. Breathe, right? Good, push that hand into the leg, leg into the hand, switch sides, whoop, reach. 20 here, yes, good, keep it going. Deep core, I know we got a lot of core with that row too, right? Breathe, yes. If you're standing, just keep those going. We're gonna hold for 10. Push the legs into the hands, hands into the legs, curl everything up. And then our last 10, we're gonna hold it out here, hollow hold, pull that deep core in. Hold five, four, three, two, and breathe, yes. Last thing, guys, let's get it done, all right? So we're coming into our elbows. We're gonna hold the plank. You're gonna stay on your knees, pre, early, post DR, and you're gonna do, push it up to bird dog. You're just gonna stay here the whole time, all right? Everybody else, join me here. We're gonna start in the plank. We're gonna add on, lift up in the center, pull it up, last thing. Here we go, hold it here. Again, bird dog from the elbows or from the hands. Keep it here, lift in the center. Everything is pulling up. We're gonna go through several different little variations just to keep it interesting. Here at the end, breathe, drop the knees slow and up. So think down for two, up for two. Down for two, up for two. Shh. Breathe, let's take it side and up. Side, so we really get the obliques. Keep with that bird dog if you're modifying. Shh. Then take it forward and back. Forward and back. Shh. Hold it here for 10. <laughs> Keep lifting. Four, three, two, relax. Stretch it back. Oh man, good work team. Little stretch to the side. I know, I'm sweating. I don't know about you. So stay up on those knees if you can so we stretch out those hip flexors. Reach it up, take it here. You did it. We're gonna keep it just at that, no bonus move. Keeping this workout short for you. Take those hands behind. Let's put one foot up if this is comfortable for you. If you need to come up off the knee, that works as well. Breathe, leaning in, hands forward, and breathe, and bring it up. That is it, guys, so superset burn. Keeping it short, keeping it simple. Check out the with weights for a longer version of this with dumbbells and kettlebells or whatever you got. Bring it here, roll back onto your feet. Pedal those feet right here. Let your head and neck relax. Slowly roll it up. Woo. Reach it here. Grab behind. Nice work, team. Let's get one little hamstring stretch. Of course, don't forget to like this video. Let me know if you like this format in the comments and subscribe to my channel. When you subscribe, I can keep making videos for you. Turn on the notifications, hit that little bell so you always know when something new is released or live workouts are coming up or new challenges. Speaking of challenges, check us out in the Body Fit Athletic Club, link in the description below. Nutrition plan, monthly challenges, weekly and monthly workout calendars, and of course, support and access to me, to Vivian, our body fit dietitian, and to other body fitters. Check that out, as well as the other link to find everything on my website. You got nutrition guide, ebooks, programs, and apparel. Check it out. Thank you so much for joining me today, for moving with me. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your dumbbell superset burn workout. Great job, everybody.